Welcome back, Devils fans. And tonight we witnessed one of the most disgusting performances of the season in a long line of disgusting performances. I have a special guest in the building, so you'll be saved the profanity-laced tirade that I undoubtedly would have came out in this video. But I got the little one here, so I'm going to have to keep it PG. But the New Jersey Devils have absolutely laid down and died in the biggest game of the season thus far with the chance to be only three points out of a wild card spot. Who would have ever thought that after all the games we gave away in the previous few weeks and, and months that you know we would be here now with a chance to climb within three points of the wild card spot and in true Devils fashion, they came up short when it mattered most. And the sad part is, I don't know, shame on me for almost buying back in. Shame on me. How many times can we let the same, all of us, there's something wrong with all of us. How many times can we let the same team and same cast of characters break our hearts within a two-month span? It's too much to handle. It's it's ridiculous. I wish I had my, my beverage here. I got the little guy. I'm on kid duty. And so, you know, we were drinking ginger ales and, and Coca-Colas, but I'd like something a little bit stronger because this team is complete garbage. How on earth, knowing what is at stake, we are the only game in the league tonight. The world is watching the chance to close the gap in the standings. And let's just go to the scoring. At three minutes of the first period, the fourth line grinding real nice, getting in on that four check, pressuring the puck. Luke Hughes takes a nice wrister. It's tipped a couple times, ultimately, before Max Willman is credited with the goal, his third of the season, giving the Devils the 1 0 lead at the three minute mark. And at 10 31, another great four check by the Devils, resulting in a goal. Working, working down low, working hard. Puck comes from Nico right in front to Jesper Bratt. Beautiful shot. 2-0 lead after one for the Devils. And at this point, I thought, wow, like the boys are finally going to secure a win when it really mattered. I really thought, I felt really good. I felt really good about it and thought, we're going to take this win. We're up 2-0 after one. They know what's at stake. We're not going to blow this. But obviously, no, that, that was not to be. Buffalo got it started early in the second period at 28 seconds. Tage Thompson, great play. Puck pops up. He gloves it down, throws it down, skates in, rips a nice shot. Allen should have had it, but it was one of those weird ones where, you know, given how, how good Allen has played um, over the past, you know, few weeks, uh, he's allowed a bad one. That wasn't a great one. Buffalo cuts the lead to 2-1 at 28 seconds. And then at 17:29, off a very sloppy, sloppy pass from Kevin Ball, John Marino can't corral it, leads to the turnover, and Thompson ties it up at two at 17:29, and that is how the second period ends, two-two after two. And at this point, I'm telling the little guy, I'm like, we got to do this in the third period. We, I don't like filming loss videos. I don't enjoy filming loss videos, and we got to find a way to do this was texting with a bunch of my buddies. Everyone's like, biggest period of the season. Yada, yada. Devils come out. They can't get anything done. Late in the third, I, I, everyone felt it. It felt like we were under siege. They were pressuring so hard. It just seemed like at any moment. It's like, if I don't know if anyone ever played the NHL games back in the day, but in like the late 90s, like on PlayStation 2, I think, it was not like the old school like NHL 94. Those are obviously classics. But a little bit later versions of the game, I think like 99, maybe even NHL 2000 or whatever. On PlayStation 2, I remember if you're in the if you're in the offensive zone for a while, once you get off a couple shots, it was almost like you were guaranteed to score. And that's kind of what this felt like um, late in that third period. And sure enough, Thompson again for the natural hat trick. A natural hat trick being three goals consecutive with no one else scoring in between. He scored Buffalo's first, second, and third goals all after the Devils had scored. So that is a natural hat trick. He, he lands on his 25th of the season. Again, a great play. He's parked out in front, tips the puck down. It's kind of lost in Allen's equipment, slides through, and, and then he jams it home. 3-2 you know, lead at 15-26. We pull the goalie. Can't get much done. They add another one at 19-23 to make it 4-2. Then Travis Green calls a timeout. Like, yeah, 
We're going to score two goals in 37 seconds, bud. Like, what was the point of that? That kind of pissed me off. The game was already over. And then, and then after, after the timeout, Thompson scores his fourth. Maybe that's why. Maybe he was trying to get – he was make sure Thompson was rested. Maybe Tage Thompson is on Travis Green's fantasy team. That must be – that must be what it is. Yeah, he called that timeout so Tage Thompson could pot his fourth of the game, his 26th of the season, with six seconds left at 19.54. And uh, this is a heartbreaking one. There's not much to say. I mean, time and time again, when it mattered most, the Devils came out, fell on their faces. There's tons of games throughout the year where we had – a golden opportunity in front of us, and we just couldn't get it done. Tonight is another one of those nights, and we, teams like that perform like this in these games, we do not deserve to be in the playoffs, and now I hope most of you could really let it go. It's over. It's over, folks. This team is going nowhere. I'm, again, obviously going to watch every game, but it's just golden opportunity after golden opportunity squandered. Um, too little, too late for this club and and it's unfortunate and Jake Allen with another another damn good performance for the most part and he deserved better but you know he can't he can't be the hero every single game um and tonight you know we just that was it we scored two goals in the first period and couldn't do anything else you know nights like tonight would have been nice to have to Foley for everyone that was like oh we don't need him to you know nights like tonight would be nice to have a guy like to Foley another goal scorer we went 40 40 minutes consecutively with no goals. It would have been nice to have a guy like that late in a game like this. But let's go to the game stats. Let me just refresh these because they've been changing these a lot on me recently. Shots on goal. The New Jersey Devils with 30. The Sabres with 36. We own them in the faceoff department, 66% to 34%. Devils 0 for 3 on the power play. Buffalo did not get a power play. Devils with 15 hits. To the Sabres, 38 hits. So that's another wide margin where we are out hit. Devils, 12 block shots. Buffalo with 16 block shots. The Devils with 8 giveaways. The Sabres with 3 giveaways. Devils with 5 takeaways. And the Sabres with 5 takeaways as well. And the 3 stars of the game. Who cares? They're all Sabres. And that's it, man. I, I don't... I can't even get angry anymore like in some of my other videos. Because I've just been so drained and checked out from this club from a couple weeks ago that like, I, I'm not going to lie. I expected this and it sucks that we didn't just, you know, come out and get dominated from the beginning because going into the game, I did think classic devils this season. When we have a chance to really close the gap in the standings, we're going to just shit the bed and, and lose the game. And sure enough we did. But the worst part about it is we had to, they had to take a two nothing lead and tease us. Like we were going to win the game. Like, why do you got to go and do that? Just lose 6 nothing from the beginning. Just get steamrolled. Don't do... Now, I'm like I'm like salivating after the first period. I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe this. Are we the team of destiny? I'm saying all this shit to myself. And it's all nonsense. We're all sick. We are sick individuals. This team does not deserve to be in the playoffs. They won't be in the playoffs. And they did it to themselves. They are not a playoff team. We just have to accept it, guys. That's it. That is it. But to go up 2 nothing in the game and then finish it the way it did is just... It's just so it's just so 2023-24 New Jersey Devils. Just the biggest disappointments possible constantly. And that's it. I just don't have much else to say. I'm not surprised by any of it. And the, the fashion that it went down was the, the worst possible way. They teased us for the first period. And then we still had hope even after the second period. And then just kept it to the, very, the bitter end. And again, how many times... Can your heart be broken by the same team in the same season? Absolutely terrible. Let me know what you thought about the game in the comments. Let me know what you thought about anything else. Uh, what did you think about that timeout? We're down two with 37 seconds left. Oh, and if you haven't seen, Steve Dangle on the Steve Dangle podcast decided to attack the GOAT, Martin Brodeur. If you haven't seen it, um, I posted a video in response because the guy's a total clown. And disrespectful, so I couldn't let that go unaddressed. So if you look um, earlier today, I posted a video with clips of his video in it and me making fun of him because he's a total joke. But that's it. Disgusting night. If this kid wasn't here, I'd be pounding the booze. And um, terrible night. Absolutely terrible night. Talk to you all in the comments. And that's all I got. You have anything anything smart to say before we we go? Yeah, I do. I do. What do you got? I wouldn't care if you pounded the TV, but they do not deserve to be in the playoffs.
They do not. They can't win a game. Closing words from a wise young man. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. Until next time, friends, let's go Devils. Yeah.